move on to the next uh, department, which is journalism with Patricia Stark. A board was called and heard his case. Good night and good luck. Good evening. I'd like to introduce my colleague who's here, up here with me tonight, Zach Gillen. Zach is the, um, <laughs> he's the channel's production assistant, and he is he who makes all things possible. A little more than a year ago, Guy Smith brought the journalism department a couple of audio recorders and a video camera. Then he challenged the students to see what they could do with the new equipment. It's been an exciting year of experimentation as journalism students who are sitting right up there as a group have explored the promise of new media in the internet to produce what is, in my completely unbiased opinion, some of the finest multimedia journalism in the city of Santa Barbara. They published breaking news several times a week online, the channels online.com, which you will be able to see, <laughs> linked to the SOMA website after this program. But in addition to that, they continue to publish um, print newspapers, design and print, to publish print newspapers every two weeks for the entire academic year. So tonight, we will showcase the best student work in both traditional and new genres. So we start the evening with the traditional category of page design, and the winner is Miss Helen Tracy. Okay, the next three categories, all traditional, will literally speak for themselves. The first is news, and our winner is Reese Alvarado. <laughs> Dr. Blaine Neeson, one of three finalists for the City College Presidency, has reportedly been denied at least three jobs in the last month, the most recent on Friday at Scottsdale Community College in Arizona. According to a March 5th article in the Roseburg, Oregon Daily Newspaper, Neeson has failed to get the top position at Mount Hood Community College in Gresham, Oregon, or Truckee Meadows Community College in Reno, Nevada. The channels contacted Neeson Monday. He refused to answer any questions and accused the student newspaper of circulating propaganda. <laughs> our next category is opinion writing, and our winner is Alexandra Wilcox. <laughs> Santa Barbara is changing, but not for the better. Over the last few years, the Beachside Town's cultural hub, downtown State Street, has lost its quirky charm to turn into an elitist shop walk with overpriced chain stores. Small, independent businesses are disappearing, with rent being the main suspect. This is not the Santa Barbara I grew up in. Our next category is feature writing, and our winner is Whitney Clark. In the City College parking lot is a spot where Professor Curtis Salberg likes to cruise around in his bright red 65 convertible Mustang. As the late afternoon sun hits the water in just the right way, Salberg admires the lush landscaped hills and the glistening ocean. In an instant, the picturesque backdrop vanishes and he snaps back to reality. He hit a speed bump, both on the road and in life. Recently, Salberg was diagnosed with an aggressive form of prostate cancer. It's my bump in the road, Salberg said. Can you imagine the difficulty of writing about a popular professor who's fighting cancer? That's a job that requires quite a bit of sensitivity and some skill. Whitney, you did a great job. Okay. Our next two categories are photography. We have two um, awards. One is news and the other is feature photography. We define news as a photo of conditions or actions over which the photographer has no control. And the winner of our news photo is Carly McAllister. Our next category is feature photography, and our winner is also Carly McAllister. Our next display is a brand new category for journalism. 
the students, using a program called Sound Slides, which is actually created by a journalist at the New York Times, practice the traditional skills of reporting and storytelling, but they convey the story entirely through photos and audio. And Katrina Williamson and Cecile Troff feature on the Santa Barbara City College Outrigger course was the judge's favorite. Uh, listen up both of your crews. I'm going to give you a different seat and then you're going to switch boats. I surf and this is helping me um, with uh, upper body strength for surfing. It's really fun. It's um, a lot of hard work. It's a lot, it takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of strength, a lot of focus. You seven guys right there. Get in boat A1. It's, it's scary sometimes, especially when it's windy, but except from that, it's just, it's just wonderful. I like the interaction with the kids, with you kids at this age. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy watching, uh, watching people develop into, into pretty good paddlers. And finally, a wonderful blending of the old and the new. We had a small and committed group of students in the fall who produced weekly broadcast for the channels, working under Kathy Barbini, I got her name this time, that were published online, so-called webcast. Um, the judges loved this entry, and the team is a big one, but I didn't like ev I'd like to invite every single one of them to come to the stage as we watch an excerpt of your work. Hi, I'm Sandra Gomez. And I'm Alex Mara. And welcome to our last webcast of the semester, Channels Live, your source for City College news. Yes, today we have a very fun show for you guys. Today we're going to recap all of our favorite segments of the entire semester. So without further ado, let's get into our first segment, news. The last time a presidential candidate visited City College was in 1996, when former President Bill Clinton was running for re-election. City College had two presidential candidates visit to kick off the fall 2007 semester. 4,500 people were at West Campus to hear Senator Barack Obama's plans to... Hi, my name is Alexandra Wilcox. I was the editor-in-chief of the channel this semester. Um, my favorite memory is um, waking up at 7 a.m. on Wednesdays to coffee at the paper and having a bunch of errors in it still and also dealing with everybody. That's my favorite memory. Oh, and also when I touched Barack Obama's hand when he came to class, it was, when I came to school, that was really the highlight of my life. We hope that you enjoyed this semester's webcast. Stay tuned and join us again in February 2008 for more highlights and features for the spring semester. I'm Sandra Gomez. And I'm Alex Merritt. Thank you guys for joining us on our first semester of webcast. Stay tuned for a great second semester. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We also want to share with you two highlights from our year. The first, represented on the screen, shows that our students once again traveled to a regional competition and outperformed hundreds of other students from be behemoth journalism programs. We tried to fit all the winners on one screen, but if you squint, you can see quite a few first, second, and third place awards for our students.